Hi, welcome back. In previous couple of lectures, we have seen how to configure Kafka producer and topic in an order service and how to create a Kafka producer in an order service to send an event or a message to the Kafka topic. In next upcoming lectures, we will see how to configure a consumer in a stock service and email service, you know, microservices project and how these consumers will consume or read the message from the Kafka topic. Okay. In this lecture, what we'll do, we'll configure Kafka consumer in a stock service so that stock service can able to consume the message from the Kafka topic. All right. Let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's configure Kafka consumer in a stock service project. So go to IntelliJ idea and go to stock service and go to application.properties file. Well, Spring Boot basically provides auto configuration to configure Kafka consumer. We don't have to write Java based configuration to configure Kafka consumer. All right. So Spring Boot basically provides some properties that we can simply use to configure Kafka consumer. All right. So just type the property Spring dot Kafka dot consumer dot bootstrap hyphen server followed by localhost and then 9092 well using this property we can configure kafka broker url well right now we have only one kafka broker which is running on port 9092 so we have configured that kafka broker by using this property well let's say if your cluster kafka cluster has multiple kafka brokers then you can mention all the kafka broker urls you know separated by comma over here for example right now i have only one kafka broker which is running on port 9092 but let's say if there are if there are another kafka broker which is running on port 9093 then what you can do is you can just mention it by separated by comma like this okay so right now we have only one kafka broker which is running on 9092 so let's keep localhost colon 9092 it means that our spring boot application will basically listen to this kafka broker and it will consume the message or events from this kafka broker next let's configure kafka consumer group so just type the property spring dot kafka dot consumer dot group hyphen id and then let's give a group name let's say stock well this group id is very important over here because let's say if there are multiple consumers who are consuming the message or events from the single topic then this group id plays a very important role for example if you see the architecture over here this one so we have two consumers right stock service and email service so these two consumers are consuming the message from the single topic isn't it well if there are multiple consumers who are consuming the message from the single topic then we have to assign a different group for these consumers we don't have to assign a single i mean same group for these consumers okay so just remember whenever there are multiple consumers who are consuming the message from the single topic then make sure that you assign a different group for these consumers okay so now we will assign you know stock as a consumer group for this stock service and then next we'll assign email as a consumer group for email service okay let's go to IntelliJ idea and go to application.properties file and here we have assigned group id as a stock next let's configure initial offset in a kafka just type the property spring dot kafka dot consumer dot auto hyphen offset hyphen reset so this is the key and earliest is the value well here we are assigning earliest value because let's say if there is a no initial offset configured in a kafka then kafka will automatically provide a initial offset in a you know in a kafka topic we don't have to set the offset manually next let's configure deserializer class for message key just type the property spring dot kafka dot consumer dot key hyphen deserializer this is the key and let's provide the value org dot apache dot kafka dot common dot serialization dot string deserializer well string deserializer is a class from apache kafka library 
we can use this class deserializer class to deserialize message key okay next we need to configure a deserializer class for message value all right so just type the property spring dot kafka dot consumer dot value hyphen hyphen d serializer so this is the key and let's provide the value org dot spring framework dot kafka dot support dot serializer dot json d serializer well if you can notice here we are using json d serializer class from spring kafka library not from apache you know kafka library all right so apache kafka basically don't support a json that's why spring kafka library introduced json serializer and json d serializer classes to serialize and deserialize json into java java into json all right so just you know remember this this uh, configuration next we need to configure one more property that is spring dot kafka dot consumer dot properties dot string dot json dot trusted dot package equal to star well this property is very useful because whatever the package that you mentioned that will be you know applicable for json serializer and deserializer all right so spring kafka library will basically trust these packages for json serialization and deserialization all right here i have mentioned star it means this spring kafka library will trust all the packages all right next we need to configure the kafka topic name here just type spring dot kafka dot topic dot name so kafka topic name we have given that is order underscore topics well you can confirm this topic name from the order service project well go to order service project and go to application dot properties file we have configured topic name as a order underscore topics right so this topic name should be same as you know this topic name that we have provided in a stock service because stock service is the basically consumer it consuming the message from this particular topic right now we have successfully done the kafka consumer configuration in a stock service project so let's go ahead and let's run the spring boot application just to verify that this you know configuration is you know working as expected so let me quickly run the stock service application and there we go there are no errors or exceptions in a console it means that we have successfully configured kafka consumer in a stock service project okay in next lecture we'll see how to write a kafka consumer to consume a message or event from the kafka topic all right great i will see you in the next lecture